Looking to improve your game? You can now sign up for CFB Pro using the promo code LVD, get access to articles and deck guides by the world's best. Alright, pack one, pick one. We opened one of the cards that wasn't originally an Amoncat, Lord of Extinction. Card's probably fine, but nothing super exciting. Uh, what else do we have? Minotaur, probably the best of the uncommons. Amit, also decent. Maybe in the black green minus one minus one counter synergy deck. But the Minotaur, very difficult to block or to attack into. And then at common, we've got some nice removal with final rewards. We've got the Brawler as a nice beatdown creature for the Exert deck, usually green-white or red-white. And then Deserts are pretty important too in this set, because they play an important role. Not only preventing Flood, but there's a lot of cards that synergize with Deserts. I think I'm just taking the Minotaur. Alright, second pack. Imminent Doom, bit of a build around. It's tricky to usually find enough one drops to kick this off, but then two mana, three mana is not too difficult and you can get some good value. It's a playable card, but it's kind of difficult to get it going. Uh, struggle, we can just play in a red deck just for the struggle half, so that's definitely a reasonable removal spell. Fanbear very good in the black-white zombies decks, or any aggressive white deck with a couple zombies in it. So I think it's between struggle, can stick to reds, or we can fan out and take a fanbear. Initiate's fine, but it is another one toughness creature, and there's a lot of ways to punish one toughness creatures in this set. So let's just take the removal spell. Well, Synchronized Strike is definitely one of the better combo tricks in the set. There's not a whole lot of combo tricks, but this especially plays nicely with Exert, since we can attack with our Exert creatures, Exert them, but then still untap them, which means we basically Exerted them for free without any drawback. Cartouche of Knowledge, probably the best blue common. Great synergy with the Trials, of course. And there's no real red card we want, Sardon's fine, but we're looking to be maybe a bit more beatdown. So, I think it's between Cartouche and Synchronized Strike. I'll go with the Synchronized Strike, see if we can maybe draft a nice Exert deck. And that also maybe gives us access to the Survive half, which is not irrelevant, can maybe shut down some Graveyard Shenanigans. And Hooded Brawler is the perfect pickup now. Uh, Battlefield Scavenger, also a card I wouldn't mind, since it synergizes with Exert. Don't have to Exert the Scavenger itself to be able to loot. So it can kind of just sit there and help you improve your hand. But the Brawler just beats down super hard. And uh, of course great with a Synchronized Strike. What do we have here? Red seems open. This is more of a sideboard card, there's not enough artifacts where you want, want to main deck this. Insider, playable, but kind of niche. Do want to be pretty aggressive for it. Blur of Blades can punish one toughness creatures. And is like a playable combo trick, I guess. And then there's some big cycling creatures that you can potentially hard cast if you're flooding out a bit. I'll take the Blur of Blades, I think. Our deck's going to try to be pretty low to the ground, so I don't prioritize those expensive cycling creatures too much. But I do like them in general. Alright, so could take a Desert, which is always nice. Pretty late Splendid Agony, definitely one of the better removal spells in the set. And that's one of the ways you can punish one toughness creatures. Then there's the Entangler, Initius Companion as playable 2-drops for the deck, and Sidewinder Naga, which does want the Desert to be very good. Um, probably have a bit more synergy with the Entangler, but I think it's close with the Desert. Since we are a more aggressive deck, the Desert's not going to be as important as in the more 
mid rangey decks that might want more of those desert synergy cards. And yeah, Ronas a Stalwart, another nice aggressive exert creature. Two mana, two two that can exert and then become a three three that's difficult to block. The Zealot can be a nice mana thing. The Initiate can also give you a bit of evasion, and of course the Desert would be fine. But I think I'm taking the Stalwart here. Nimble Blade Kenra, not exciting, but playable if you need a 2-drop. Uh, the Binding Mummy is pretty late too here. That's definitely one of the better aggressive white cards for the zombie decks. I think I'm still leaning Kenra. Just to cut off reds. And then we wield the initiates. I'll take it now. Already have a blur of blades, don't need too many of them. Quarry hauler is a little bit better in the black green decks where you've got more counters, both plus one and minus one. Although, never mind, I don't think there's actually any plus one counters in the set, it's all minus one counters. Quarry hauler can remove a minus one counter, which is the same effect as putting a plus one counter on a creature, I guess, to an extent. Imminent Doom wields. I think I still want the initiate over it. Again, getting enough one drops to get this going is pretty difficult. And I'll take the initiate over the companion. Our deck is pretty weak to one damage effects. But uh, not much I can do about it. Yeah, the Moloch seems fine if we're going to be aggressive. And we got an Inciter on the wheel. Alright, so far our red-green Exert deck shaping up nicely in a last big desert. That's surprising. Very happy with that. Ooh. Well, if there's ever a deck where we want to open a Hazoret, it's an aggressive red deck. So that's a slam dunk. I mean, Ancrop Crasher would have been amazing too in this deck, don't get me wrong. But, uh... Yeah, I'm not going to pass up on Hazoret. Might even wield the Charioteer if there's no one else in red-green. And then uh, Thirst, the Great Blue Common. Another Splendid Agony. So some good cards in the pack. And yeah, take my Ancrop Crasher now. Vizier of Many Faces, definitely a bomb. Can hope to wield the Kenra Scrapper, which is also nice menace and exert creature but the crasher just makes it a nightmare for the point to block so looking at our curve got a good amount of two mana creatures blur blade synchronized strike and then uh, struggle to survive as kind of our interaction Although the Exert decks typically are fine having lots of creatures. Initiate can also make them unblockable, so... We're pretty happy with the creature dense deck. And there's another struggle to survive. Yeah, I think I'm taking that. Throne of God Pharaoh can be okay in very aggressive decks, although it's typically better with evasive creatures like a slither blade the one mana one two unblockable so you can keep attacking with it and deal damage with the throne at the same time if the opponent can block your creatures and trade off then a throne is not great but uh yeah i'll take another struggle we might even wheel one of these other two drops the feral prowler also much better in black green where you can maybe place some minus one minus one counters on it to get some value and then Zealot could be an okay mana sink if we get it later, but I'll take the removal. Another Hooded Brawler looks good over the Archer. This is a bit better in blue reds where you've got more non-creature spells. Oh man, the River Hoopoo. Probably one of my favorite cards in the set, but I'm not going to say no to another Burning Fist Minotaur. Kenra Scrapper also would have been decent, but I'll take the Minotaur. And I'll keep taking Hooded Brawlers if I keep getting them. Sure. Well. 
our deck is looking pretty decent so far. Okay, I'm still maybe improve a bit of the card quality. Thorn Moloch is not looking amazing here. Entangler is one of the weaker exert creatures. Kenra can maybe be replaced. We've got uh, both deserts, Ramna Prunes and Desert of the Fervent. I wouldn't mind either one of these. I think I'll go with the Ramana Perunes here as a way to give us a bit of reach and help us close out the game. And it's also an untapped desert, which is preferable in an aggressive deck. But we don't have much going on on turn 1, so playing a tapped desert on 1 is still fine if we can pick up some desert synergies. And uh, yeah, like normally I like Greater Sandworm quite a bit, but it's more of a card you want in a green ramp deck, and we're more of a green beatdown deck. So I'll take the Brute Strength combo trick. Does play nicely with first strike creatures like the Burning Fist Minotaur potentially. We can make a creature unblockable with the initiates and then uh, still use a combo trick on it afterwards to get in more damage. Pretty late if near Deadlands, that's probably the best of the desert cycle. Um, it's close here. I think I'll take the Vitalists, but I'm not sure. Like, we don't really need to ramp, but it's still a good 2-drop. That can help me double spell later. Shed Weakness, much better in black-green decks where you've got more minus one, minus one counter synergy. And another desert would be fine, but I don't need a million of them. So, if I had to make some cuts, the Kenra can go. Take another Entangler for now. Didn't think I'm playing the Hauler or the Sharpshooters. So we still have an entire pack to go here, but our deck is basically already built. And uh, Open Fire, a nice removal spell. 3 mana, instant speed for 3 damage. Shadow Storm, a more of a constructed sideboard card. The Watchful Naga could also be decent as a way to draw some extra cards. Especially if you have ways to protect it, maybe some combo tricks so you can attack with it multiple times. But I think I still prefer the open fire here, we're a bit light on interaction. And then having a low curve is also nice when we have a Hazret as a curve topper, because we want to be empty handed when we play Hazret. There's another Lord of Extinction. Fervent Paincaster is also a nice one, can punish one toughness creatures. And can also go face. Kenra Scrapper, another nice 3 mana exert creature. And a Stalwart would be an upgrade over the Entangler for the most part. I'll take the Paincaster, kind of offers us a more unique effect. Ronus's Monument, also actually a consideration when we're a almost all creature deck to give our creatures plus 2 plus 2 and trample. But exert kind of has a built in combo trick, so we don't need as many pump effects. And I'll definitely take the Magma Spray here as a cheap interactive spell. Although, once again, the Stalwart Oasis would all be nice. Take another Magma Spray. The third Hoopoo passed. It does hurt me a little bit. But uh, our deck's shaping up nicely, so I can't complain. So I probably don't need the Blur Blades. Not sure if I need Brute Strength. And also not sure if I'm playing the Vitalists. I'll just Rare Draft here, not playing any of these. The deck looks pretty decent. Another Magma Spray. It's a lot of quality removal. Take a sandworm now, but I doubt we'll play it. Our deck might get away with like 16 lands. So getting up to 7 for the sandworm is kind of tough. Yeah, maybe the Thresher Lizard's actually good in this deck. Gonna empty your hand pretty quickly. I 
This is best of one, so no need to pick up sideboard cards. Don't think I'm playing Cerodon. Yeah, the curve is quite low in this deck. Playing a low land count does make struggle a little bit weaker, but... Like, if we are stuck on three lands for a couple turns, it's not too bad. Although, if we go up to five, I can double spell my threes and my twos. Can also discard additional lands to the Burning Fist Minotaur. So, probably still play 16 lands, so we don't uh, get stranded on two lands too often. Can probably cut one Insider, but the first one seems fine. Since we don't have much going on on turn one anyway. And then cut a lands, and then this is our deck. Synchronized Strike is looking quite powerful. And then we've got the two Initiates, which play well with all the two drops to make those unblockable. And then Hazret, a nice Curve Topper. We do see more red than green. So I think I'm adding a Mountain over a Forest giving us 9 reds, 7 green. Seems alright. And then I'm not playing any real combat tricks, but we've got plenty of removal now with triple magma spray, double struggle, open fire, and then synchronized strike. Don't know if you can interact with anything on this board. They're all just buildings, so I don't think so. Ouch. Cartouche of Strength, definitely a good one. opponents winning this race, that's for sure. But yeah, the problem here when facing another Exertech is that staying back to try and block is usually not gonna work out. But I guess we gotta do it here since I'm not winning by attacking. So we can block with the initiates. We've got two mana here, so maybe they've got a combat trick in hand. Could be the plus three plus one and trample, in which case blocking stalwarts not gonna work out for me. The crasher is exerted, so it's not untapping next turn. 
but uh, yeah, the problem here is if they have the plus three plus one and trample trick, there's not a lot of ways for me to punish it. If I top deck magma spray, that's not enough, so I would need to top deck my own open fire. So it's kind of tough here. Yeah, I think I just gotta block the stalwart and then if they have it, they have it and I probably lose. Alright. Also can't forget about that Hashap Oasis, chilling in the opponent's mana base. Plus they have another desert, so they can potentially use it twice. Entangler is pretty tough for me to block here as a 3-3 trample. Yeah, so this is kind of reminding me of the Amoncat expansion before they added Hour of Devastation, where it's just all aggro decks and blocking is just very difficult in these Exert mirror matches. Double blocking just seems too bad. Alright, ah, that's game over. Decent hand. Blue White typically has a lot of embalm synergies, as we see the Guardian, which is definitely a nice two drop for the deck. They could have an Essa Scatter here. So I think I'll go 1 drop plus 2 drop. Maybe something like an Impeccable Timing. I think the Insider is a little bit more valuable than the Pathmaker. Let's play Brawler. I want to play Land first, I think. In case of a countervailing winds. I do kind of have to double exert here. They also had a sensor in hand. Another important one to try and play around sometimes. Well, that's a good one.
if we draw land we could potentially attack with both of our minotaurs here. And open fire can also go face, so that can maybe help us close out the game. Alright. Here we want a Crasher plus Minotaur. Crasher exerts so they can block. And then, let's see. I'm scheduled to deal seven either way, so I don't think I need to exert Stalwart because this would be lethal in both scenarios and maybe I'll need to attack with this a second time or block with it. And they only have nine damage on the way back. So the Bloodlust and Cider are doing some nice work here. We go to one if they attack with all. It's not too many pump effects they could have in blue white. Sure. Magma Spray is a decent answer to Doom Descender since they won't get the zombie token, but it's just two mana inefficient here. If my opponent has Planet Agony, they can kill both of my creatures, which is a disaster. But can't really play around it. Maybe it's to put a minus one counter on a creature and then destroy another creature. Yep, a lethal sting takes out my 2 1 first strike. So if Soul Stinger dies, it can put uh, two minus one minus one counters on a different creature. Magma Spray, not quite enough to exile this, sadly. Alright, so we don't really have any great attacks. So I'm probably just going to start using the initiates to get my creatures in for damage. 
Sadly also stuck on single red, so we can double spell. The wall's definitely a nice one too. O4 blocker that can ping the point for one if you've got a desert. I will exert the entangler here since we've got two of them anyway. And it's still unblockable since we targeted it before it had three power. can potentially kill a bigger creature, but still don't really want to kill the Soul Stinger. Could attack with both Brawlers and Exert. They get to chump one with the Soul Stinger and then kill my Initiate maybe. Or they get to just trade for a Brawler. I'm kind of happy just doing this Initiate thing over and over. If I draw another mountain, I can maybe empty my hand and grow the lizard. Hazaret, that's a draw. Is there points at six? They probably have something in hand, not sure what it is. Let's say I do kill one of their blockers here. I could just struggle the Soul Stinger. They get to kill one of my creatures. Attack with all. Doesn't sound bad. Playing Hazard doesn't accomplish a whole lot. Yeah, I wish I could double spell, but stuck on single red, sadly. I mean, I could also try and kill something else. What if we kill the Doom Beetle? And then just attack with all. So now I probably don't want to make the all-out attack anymore. And next turn they're just dead to another exerted entangler. Alright, well, Initiate doing some work here. Yeah, this seems pretty good. Even have the one drop to empty my hand faster for Hazaret, and we're on the play. So Hazaret gets exponentially better on the play. 
for many reasons. The desert might kind of mess with this hand a little bit. So don't need to play Hazra just yet. Can play around Sensor by playing the Lizard, but if they had Sensor they probably would have used that last turn. And then I'll just probably play the Deserts. Adifus can tap down my Hazarets, but we'll still have the ability. So I think I do try and resolve Hazaret while I can. Then ideally draw two drop like we did. Keep land in hand to maybe discard to Hazard later. in trouble. So we got to see Hazorat in action. This hand's lacking a two mana creature. It's got some interaction, which is nice. But if I don't draw a two drop, then it's kind of slow. And then of course I need a third land to play my threes. I'm not going to be double spelling anytime soon. But I am on the draw, so I can kind of break serve with this Magma Spray. Hmm, this one's close. I think I'll try it. On the play, I think I would mulligan on the draw. I'll keep... I can exile the Sacred Cat with the Magma Spray. Yeah, this is gonna chip in quite a few times, and then it's also a great chum blocker for my Brawler, so... Let's just exile it now, before they untap and potentially have a combo trick. And we drew two drops, so that's nice. Avenger 3-1 can exert to prevent all combo damage that would be dealt to it. I'll trade if they offer, I think. Also, I'm kind of incentivized to keep my Entangler because of the Synchronized Strike. 
Could also take it and then just use struggle to kill the Avenger. We'll see. Alright, so now with Vigilance they can exert for free, essentially. So we'll take it. Next turn, probably play the Brawler. And now we can set up a nice synchronized strike. Survive also relevant against Embalm. What's my plan here? I don't have to exert a Brawler necessarily. And then just exert Entangler, play another one. And then save the strike for next turn. Opponent passes with 4 mana up. We'll just do the same. If they take it, I could try and go for lethal with the synchronized strike, but it doesn't seem necessary. Brute strength. Struggle. And we'll still trample over for three. Playing a little bit off curve to try and preserve my uh, crasher here. This is six to embalm, so. Still pretty happy to kill it with struggle. Although I don't have to do it now.
could exert it for three. Could just stay back. Let's exert. Once again, we've got a few options. Could exert a brawler. And then if they attempt to double block, we can punish them. And then go lizard plus entangler second main. That doesn't sound bad. Could empty my hand, but I kind of want to use survive on the wind guide if I kill it so they can't embalm it. And if they jump with the cats, I can shuffle that back too, so they don't get to embalm. And then we silver our Crasher as our finisher here. Second guide, or they redrew it, that's also possible. Alright, opponent concedes to the Crasher. Could prevent a Wind Guide from blocking, and then opponent's in Shun Block mode. This hand's lacking a second creature pretty badly. Four lands is also a bit much. Of course, if I draw Hazoret here, this hand's great. Yeah, if I draw another land, this hand's kind of a disaster. I don't think I can keep. This is better. So opponent on an aggressive red-white, Exertec maybe. Our hand's decent, although a little clunky. Wouldn't be double spelling anytime soon. This is a type of matchup where Magma Spray is extremely valuable. Ghost Walker definitely one of the better commons. Speak of the devil. So, I'm okay not exerting Entangler, trampling for one and trading for Avon if that's what they want. Opponent takes it. And then ideally we draw 
another land next turn. So we can maybe go Brawler plus Magma Spray. Sunscorch Desert. Alright. Can potentially help with the Desert Synergies, but it's... Not always easy to include a colorless land in your mana base. They can untap the Crasher for free with Avon, so they might as well exert, I guess. Drew a land. So kill Crasher, smash. Play another Brawler, doesn't sound bad. And then I don't really need to exert anyone. Uh-oh, Angel of Sanctions, that's definitely one of the better rares in the set. 3-4 that exiles a thing when it enters the battlefields. Although... It's still gonna be close here. I can exert... My two creatures. Let's say they chump Brawler. I mean, they're unlikely to chum block too much. I just need to get in for damage. Sadly, I can't use a Minotaur and cast open fire. Exerts, exerts, attack. And then we can likely trade off for both of their creatures here. Could technically also let damage happen, pump Minotaur, which would put them to three and then next turn open fires lethal. Because yeah, they can embalm this for six, so if they just play another land and embalm it. I'm only scheduled to take five. Of course they could have burn spells or pump spells. But uh Yeah, I mean pumping the Minotaur now is most likely to give me lethal next turn. If I use open fire to kill Angel, I do get back my Hooded Brawler temporarily, but then I only get in for two, and I'm definitely not guaranteed to kill him next turn. So, I think uh, I'm using this. And hope we're not dead. All right, still at one. Looks like we got there. All right, only the one creature, but some nice cheap interaction, so I'll keep. Just want to be mana efficient here. I'll attack normally. If they want to trade, that's fine by me. 
And then we'll play the Brawler. This only has first strike when it's attacking. This can pump out a few 1 1 tokens. Alright. My board has disintegrated. Probably gotta kill the steward before it starts making tokens, or do I? Depends whether they have another creature that's worth killing in hand. I think I get rid of it now. Have to start applying a bit of pressure. Can't forget about my Ramana Prunes, that can deal two more damage. We'll exert a Brawler and just normally attack with the other two. I'm happy with the trade. And our opponent explodes. Sweet. Alright. We got smashed pretty badly in the first game. But, uh, yeah. Clean seven wins after. And, uh, didn't even draw our house red too often. But just curving out some cheap interaction. Magma spray definitely a big one. And yeah, almost all the decks we played against were pretty curve-out aggressive decks. So I was hoping there would be more rampy multicolor stuff going on from uh, Hour of Devastation, but it seems like it's mostly the Amonkhet decks that survived and it's just all exert aggressive decks. Although maybe it's just a small sample size, who knows. Let's crack some packs. Dispossess, one of the few unplayables in the entire set. Not sure why they had to reprint this one when we've got so many similar effects now. Refuse to cooperate, not one of the best split cards. But uh, the Javelinier is definitely nice, can punish all those one toughness creatures that we had in our deck. And uh, Unquenchable Thirst, one of the better blue commons, especially if you can pick up a few deserts. Anger of the Gods, well, if all the decks end up being aggressive, then Anger of the Gods seems like a pretty well-positioned sweeper. So, it is a little awkward that the red decks typically tend to be pretty aggressive, so you don't necessarily want a control card like Anger. But, you know, even if you just get a nice 2 for one with it on turn 3 or 4, it seems fine. And then Compulsory Rest, another nice common. And both uh, split cards here are decent, consigned to Oblivion. Can bounce something and then Mind Rot. And Struggle to Survive, which we 
So an action in our draft, nice way to hit on the embalm creatures. Shatterstorm, another one of those unplayable rares, sadly. But uh, yeah, both the deserts are nice pickups, as well as the Wall of Forgotten Pharaohs. A lethal Sting, you know, has a little bit of synergy in black-green, but it's not one of the better removal spells. Sandworm Convergence. Now, if the format does slow down a little bit, this is one of the better finishers you can ramp into. 8 mana, opponent can't attack you with flyers, and every turn you get to make a 5-5 worm. And this triggers on your end step, so you get the first token right away, which is important. So definitely a fun card to try and ramp into. Exemplar of Strength can be nice in the black-green beatdown decks. Sensor, definitely a powerful counterspell, so is countervailing winds. And Fanbearer is also a premium common, so pretty stacked back. And another Sandworm Convergence, Blue Cartouche, one of the better commons, especially if you can pick up a few Trials to go with it. The Aven, nice in the aggressive Exertex. And then, uh, I don't think this was in any of the original Amonkhet or Hour of Devastation sets, but maybe this was in like a Bolas Planeswalker deck and they decided to add it. I mean, a 2 mana to 1 flyer is pretty efficient. The only issue is that there's quite a few ways to Punish one toughness creatures, thinking of cards like Splendid Agony that can place two minus one minus one counters on creatures. So you do have to be a little bit careful with those one toughness creatures, but sometimes you don't have another choice. But for now, I want to thank everyone for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.